this is a very interesting plant I encountered for the first time uh, this year. And uh, I think it's called area Kowlin. I am not a botanist, so I make all kind of mistakes in the pronunciation and all that people have to forgive. It's a very pretty little thing. And uh, this particular uh, area Kowlin, they they're also called pipe wart. Because these uh, flowers and all, flowers are looking like a kind of a pipe shape, I guess, like that. Somehow the focus is not coming to it. like a little jewel actually if you carefully see I'll try to expand the magnification no luck anyway it's a uh, still you can get a general look about the, this one mm. It is one of those plants that can survive uh, some temporary submergence. Early part of the life cycle, it, it, this area is all covered with water. Then uh, now rainy season is almost coming to an end. Water is uh, drying up. But it can survive uh, after the water dries also if moisture is there. And uh, from what I could gather, these plants, uh, they are all uh, seasonal. They crop up at the beginning of the monsoon lower uh, towards the end seeds and all happen and then they I think they die off so that's a small patch I tried uh, risk taking one and uh, growing it in my aquarium and also in a submerged uh, situation like uh, where the top of the plant is peeping out and the bottom is wa waterlogged but there it doesn't look that uh, happy so probably it's one of those plants that uh, are difficult to cultivate and uh, grow in a hobby situation unless one is an expert. So this category of plants, uh, I don't think they can graduate to become garden plants and all, but uh, they have to, you have to situate, protect the the in situ that is that in the, the location where they naturally occur has to be some of them have to be identified and protected so that they don't go extinct. These freshwater seasonal streams and they have such a kind of a uh, you know, the whole life cycle of these plants is adjusted for the conditions of this this region and they are all ancient creatures which evolved long long back quite a few are there. The two species are there. One is so much smaller. And, uh, very pretty actually. When you look at them, this is one variety. The other one, you can see that they are much tinier. Basic shape is the same. But uh, much tinier. This one, this one looks a bit uh, different. The, that uh, flower looks a bit different but the basic shape is the same so I suspect it's a it's another, another species smaller one probably and uh, or it's the same one maybe there's one uh, coming out here at the base also there's quite a patch of them some 20, 30 plants are there. Now going forward, whenever uh, there is heavy rain, there will be water logging. Otherwise, uh, 
uh, as soon as the rain stops it will dry up it's that kind of a location and also the season rainy season is over except that one small patch i can't see any more of these uh, area call in this stream and one more thing walking in this kind of water is uh, very therapeutic it feels lovely not a single specimen to be found no fish also they don't come this much upstream in a couple of hours this will be dried up This is that Malabatricum, the pink flowered, uh, I forgot the full name, but some Malabatricum, Melastoma Malabatricum. And then this place, though it's a quite, uh, becomes narrow, some beautiful mosses are also growing here. Let's have a look. Marvelous little mini garden, oh my god. So pretty. See? Really fine thing. That's about it. I don't think oh, this one baby frog here. Yeah. Very tiny one. Quite an active chap also. Where are you? There, 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 there. Where is it? Jumped off. I don't think uh, anything else is there in this, it comes to an end in the street. So two varieties of, uh, two, three varieties of area calling. One uh, Melastoma Malabatricum. And then, uh, nothing much else. So I think I can... Was this video?